Hello, so our little project today is going to be to put this weather stripping back on a 20 year old car. Because it's a 20 year old car, I'm not going to invest a lot of time or energy on it. I'm going to try to reuse these little pins because they give some kind of structural support to this. Um, I've already mixed up my epoxy, so I'm going to start working while I'm talking. Um, essentially, I'm using JB Weld today. It's an epoxy. It sets in four to six hours, which is a pretty good working time. Um, you don't want to get an epoxy that works too quickly. You might run into issues. Um, what I'm doing right now, I'm learning from experience from the door I did just before this one. This is Gorilla Glue, also known as Crazy Glue. Sets quickly. I think it's 30 seconds, but cold out. We're in Canada. Everything takes a little bit more time. So I'm dabbing it onto the above surface so that it starts to set. And then, oh, kids are home. I'm going to add my epoxy here that I've mixed up. I don't have a lot left. Um, while I add, see a little bead of epoxy here on the door. And what this little bead of epoxy is going to do is it's going to hold my weather stripping. I'm going to reuse this pin, so I'm going to put some in the hole here. Hopefully what that's going to do is grab around the pin. And then for the areas where I don't have any pins or holes or anything to use, I'm just putting a pea size shape like you can see right about there. And almost done with my little mixture that I made here I'm using the official stick of epoxy and uh, there we go a little dab will do you so we got one two three let's see if I can't pull a fourth one out here I'm doing about two and a half feet of weather stripping so four or five beads should be fine this stuff's fairly strong the crazy glue is going to hold it in place while it's set I had a hard time doing this because even though I could get the epoxy there, I couldn't get it to hold. So it's not taking yet this crazy glue, but once it gets on board and starts to seize, I'm sure you guys have all had the experience of knowing what it's going to do. So again, I'll just push it a little like that so that it starts to hopefully activate and cure on the next surface. Um, this video is not going to be long gonna finish right here so I can recycle this pin see I'm putting some all these holes are torn and ripped so I can't use these pins anymore so I'm putting epoxy in there epoxy up and on both sides of them and then see how that glue is starting to hold right now once that glue holds the next step is I'm gonna hold the epoxy into place put the pins into place and that's why you want an epoxy with a slow working time um, it gives it times to catalyze. Um, that's how it gets its strength. That's why you mix the two products together. And the crazy glue, once it's going to hold this weather stripping, is going to let me place my weather stripping in the appropriate spot, hold it in place, hope for the best, and recycle an old car. It's just nice to not breathe in fumes and hear the noise of the road. So, there you go. Comment below if you have any questions, but uh, this should be. Uh, the same for everybody again crazy glue on the sides where you're going to put your epoxy that'll hold the weather stripping because the epoxy doesn't do a very good job of that thanks a lot have a nice day bye